Hey everyone, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. So, let's go see where we're gonna go, and then we can decide who we're taking around that. Farmstead, it's too early, we'll get our butts kicked. Courtyard, it's too early, we'll get our butt kicked. And, the big problem with the courtyard is once you start doing the missions, even if you just do the first one, your characters can start getting vampirism all the time anywhere. So we want to just let that simmer as long as possible and go in with like level fives and just rush the courtyard down all in one go. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time in the early game trying to deal with all the vampires. So, these are both pretty decent trinkets here. 10 damage to melee skills for anyone. Minus 15% stress for anyone. We're not going to do a veteran that's too tough for us. Uh, less food consumed. Or no food consumed, actually. And extra HP. Or 5% protection for the Crusader if we go to the wheel. I think we definitely want to do the ruins again. It gets a little boring going to the ruins constantly, but... Once we have more options opening up, we'll be able to go to more places. So it's between the 15% stress or melee damage, because both are pretty good. Let's knock out a short. Maybe we can get two videos done in one go here. Or two, uh, two missions done in one go. Let's uh, sort by stress. Okay. The only problem with using uh, subscriber names is I don't remember if who's a default name game or who is... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Who is new? I think we just picked up the two Hellions and the Man at Arms. So... The Lanfredo? And... Person's name is probably too big to use both their names, so we'll do Michelle, Michael, and you. Lime. All right. So these three are a little bit too stressed to go. Everyone else is actually perfectly fine. I think we want to take the vessel just so she levels up. Don't really want to take the jesters because they bleed targets. She bleeds too, but it's not too big of a deal. Someone who's stressed has to go actually right now. Unless we take double characters, but double characters is kind of eh. Oh. That's like really terrible. Like, I might actually just get rid of her. That's crazy. I never, I didn't know that was around. Like, obviously, we could take her and avoid it, but you really want to. She's going to get 20 stress every time. I think we take this one because there's no blight in the ruins, and we'll definitely have our torch up. Then the thing is, I don't know if I want two man at arms. Hmm. I don't want to get people too leveled up as well. I want to leave you here because do we have the... No, we don't have the sanitarium yet. I want to get rid of his kleptomania before we send them out anymore. I think you bring him at least and then the other man-at-arms. So 
these people selected. Sort by activity, go back to town. Guild. So the Hellion. Get hack, attacks the front line, it's just a regular old fashioned attack. Iron Swan is always incredible. And you definitely grab Iron Swan. Then a Dreadnought Lass is also pretty good. I'll have her set up. Wine. It's always harder with the uh, Man at Arms because all of his abilities are pretty useful. Leg Doctor, you're kind of the same boat here, buddy. Noxious Blast allows you to start hitting the front line. But also clearing the torches or clearing the corpses out is really good. Incision is really good. Everything is really good. <laughs> That's the big problem. did make it cheaper. I think you definitely upgrade like your main attacks at least. Give you incision, light grenade, blinding gas, disorienting blast. You might not always be able to use a decision, or you might not always be able to use disorienting blasts, but they will alternate. Depending on if you get moved around, and being able to do things on the fly like that is pretty useful. Higher stun chance and accuracy. Vestal. I love Judgment, I love Dazzling Light, I love Divine Grace. The, last, the only one that is up in the air is the last one. Illumination is not that great. I think we just want to... Plan ahead. Let's see, these are all ranged. I'll just grab base bash. Just in case you get shuffled around, that'll be that'll help. You don't care about illumination. Okay. And then it was still these two that we were... Well, I think we had you fixed. It was just Wayne here. Wime. And there's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think I'm worried about Bellow. We just gotta decide what we're gonna give you. Crush, Retribution, Mand, Bolster. Alright. Anything else you want to do? We could level up. Well, actually, we can't because we haven't upgraded it yet. That's okay. And do we want to send anyone to stress healing? other you're pretty strong like you hate everything <laughs> you'll go anywhere Gilded icons and dogmatic make the cloister really cheap and send them 
against the bloodshed. All right. A little more prep than I was thinking. So maybe we do want to do a medium one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a medium one now, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get two in anymore. Alright, this is the same as last time. I don't have it memorized. Their suggestion isn't even really what I like. Oh, 18 food. Shovels. We did not use three shovels last time, but... Bandages, medicinal herbs, no, no, no. Skeleton key. Only water. 13 torches. Okay, our mod is not working. I put in a new one that was supposed to make it so provisions stack more. But it's clearly not working. Okay. That's good enough. I put in one that made a lot more stuff stack better. And it's not working. So the last one I'll try to put in, I'll try to put in the infinite stacks. It's cheating, like super cheating. I didn't want to do that. 90% of rooms, we do not have to go down this way. Probably don't have to check. I don't know if we have to check those two, but... Let's head up this way. Alright, is everyone... just want to make sure they actually have their stuff. These two might actually not be in the right positions. I don't know if we want her in the absolute back. Doesn't really matter. Actually, this is better because you can still use incision. Okay. No, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 you put a torch in that, you you go to hell, pretty much. Confession booth, I think, is holy water or stress healing? Yes. But you can also just use it and have a chance to get rid of a negative quirk. So give me a second here. Losing Perfectionist would be really strong. The problem is her stress is already pretty bad. But I think you just go for the safe stress heal. And if we encounter another one, we may just use it as it is. Give ourselves an old-fashioned fight. Okay. You are stronger now. A grenade does one damage and four blight for three rounds. Pretty valuable. These aren't stress dealing units, so I'm not quite as worried about stunning them to keep them from acting at all. Also, does Iron Swan, because I'm not too worried about the guys in the front. Oh, the dodge is pretty bad, though. You can hit this guy. So if we weaken him down, you might be able to crush his brains. Oh, not really. Ah. Well, now the blight will kill him. That's good. Good enough. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Ouch. Barrel and Graveyard Slash might be actually like equally bad as bad. He's not quite dead yet, but he will be. Send them. Might be able to one-shot this guy. Put a backup hit on him from the crush. Oh, alright, one-shot is pretty good too. Are you dead? Yes. Stun him. 
torch is struck. A blazing star is born. This is where the one point heal would actually be pretty good. <laughs> Good, we got to go still. So that's great. Alright. Alright, that didn't go too badly, other than her miss at the start. Damn, that stinks that our uh, <laughs> carrying mods aren't working. Not sure why. None of these characters are very good at disarming traps. Plague Doctor is actually okay. I mean, let's do the coin flip and try to get some stress relief for you, I think. She actually did it. Alright. I actually didn't think she'd pull it off. Alright. Send me in. Another fight. Anytime there's a curio, you know you gotta fight because. There's always a fight in curio rooms. Stun him. Patch you this one down. Flight might have been better, really. No one else can hit the back slot, right? Put Retribution on, we might repost them. <laughs> we don't know who to target. He might target this character, actually. Like, we're not gonna kill anyone other than him, maybe. Dead next round now too. Okay, then not even next round. You're really hurting though. <laughs> like that worked out pretty okay, but you are in a pretty bad spot. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Although you kind of need the guard if you do this, but if you do that, then you don't get crush. You have to make room for it. He's dead because <laughs> I wanted to heal actually, but it's okay. This is stress relief. Was it loot if you didn't stress relief though, or was this weaker stress relief? This is holy fountain. Okay, I get a chance of some loot, so. Actually, that could have held healed <laughs> 12 HP if we had used it, so maybe we should have used the holy water. I thought it was just a stress heal. Even the For a second, I was like, oh god, I forgot shovels. On preventing passage. No, no, no. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Uh, I've already forgotten something that we can do. We can do it from now on pretty easily. If there's treasure in the last room you go to, you can snuff the torch. And you get extra loot if you if you're in the dark. It's supposed to be for just making it so that you uh use it for the entire run, but you can cheese the last room to always get a reward, I think. I don't like this guy either, though. I almost wonder if you judgment this guy. 
3 to 6 damage, and then Iron Swan might be able to take him out. They also might just want to heal him. Plague Doctor can do pretty good damage now. I'm going to heal. If they focus him down, it'll be a problem. dead in two turns. You're dead in two turns as well, but we do want to finish you off. Oh, crit. Ow. Did quite a bit of damage. A whipper. He had a debuff. You are dead. So Let's we'll start macking this guy down. Monstrous size has no intrusion. Send him to the shadow room. All right. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. All right. We have a second chance here. <laughs> Actually, more worried about our health situation than stress. Stress is kind of the cherry on top. I think this is one you just ignore, no matter what. It's the uh, Iron Maiden. Uh, you can use the medicinal herbs on it to have luck, but otherwise, it's not worth it. I've read that Iron Maidens actually weren't real. Okay, gold is stacking higher. Hmm. I think it's usually 1,750. Maybe the mod isn't broke. Two barriers already. Makes me a little bit worried. Something else just disappear down here. Books. Ninety percent of runes. Eight. And fourteen. Let's hit this one and not go to this one, I think. Actually surprised we surprised them. <laughs> we can pull him up with this. Yeah. Especially if we can kill this hand, clear the body. Be pretty good. Whoa, the crits. Crit actually cleared the body, so now I don't think he can get back to where he can do more damage. Actually, he's, eh, he can't bleed, so he's not dead, but. Yeah, he can only be in that jab, which is not that bad. Honestly, just heal. This squad is actually pretty good. I gotta say. Be gone, fiend. I'm a little surprised because it's a little bit janky, but... Pretty strong. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Like, I could probably even explore the extra rooms. But you never know when things might go south.
Honestly, if this team is higher level, we could go back into a uh, and fight the shambling thing. I'd like to get the stun off on him if I could, because the other characters don't bother me. Oh, no, we don't get any extra bonuses here. I'll send him to the shadow realm as fast as I can. You gotta be dead. He's dead. Oh, bump in the night. I'm so scared of bump in the night. Like, this is actually a uh, combination of enemies that you can cheese infinitely. Because the uh, game doesn't think that two characters is uh, not enough. So they won't reinforce this, even though it's two very weak characters. And you can out-heal the amount of damage they can do. That we don't need to, obviously. Like, pretty good shape. Don't want to jinx it, because I'll probably start Their formation is broken. getting Maintain the enemies might start critting me all of a sudden. Got some stress for you, man. This expedition at least promises. Doesn't even use our camping. Save it till the end and just make sure that we have zero stress before we go home. I think we just gotten lucky with not having two bad room combats. That was a little bit rough right there. With a singular purpose. And also, nothing you could do about it. Something did disappear. The torches disappeared. Okay. Torches disappear. Well, now we got a camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. At this point, we're just buffing. Oh. I guess that's okay, really. No one's diseased. Let's take you down to zero stress, buddy. Can't prevent the ambush. I should have done Sanctuary. As the light okay. gains purchase, okay. spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, no torches. I don't know, maybe you maybe did use them all? Because we are like very close to the end, but I feel like I had like an extra stack of torches. We should be able to kill the backline pretty quick here. I wish you could iron swan him. <laughs> He's dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. This needs one damage. I think that's why this team is strong. Is they can they can do a lot of damage to the back line. Actually, not as good for the front line, <laughs> which is not common. Could have a room battle up ahead, so let's keep topped off. Another one falls. Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Some things are stacked. These provisions aren't. Maybe they are because Yeah, this is where we're at. We gotta we gotta fight in dim light. It's not terrible. Okay, there's no fight. Let's go back to town because we have no torches. <laughs> Did they disappear? The great ruins 
I feel order. like we use the shovel and we will find on secrets they hold. on the barrier, and then it consumed like a stack of torches. I'm gonna actually have to watch that back. I think that happened. Clumsy is terrible. Scounder is fine. It's not too bad because it doesn't come up up that often that you can stress heal yourself. She has paid dearly severe for negative quirks. Some sickness. Some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. That's more to remove at the sanitarium. I want to be able to pick her up, so let's get rid of. It'll be you, right? Sorry, Mickle. I'll name the next character after you. But this is just a terrible trait. You don't need this character. Send this one to journey elsewhere. We'll grab the shield breaker. Violence is now unlocked. And the sanitarium. Heck yeah, the sanitarium. I use the crap out of the sanitarium, man. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even curing negative quirks and locking in positive ones. Really good for building incredibly strong characters. She's a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. All right. We got the stagecoach. Antiquarians. Oh, let's increase our roster size and grab the next three people. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the I might not even grab this one. These are both pretty bad. So we do need a antiquarian. She searches where others will not go. And sees. What others will not see. These are pretty bad too, but a great whopper anyway. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. I mean, we can hire her on. There's no cost for hiring people, but I'm just gonna get rid of her again. <laughs> unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Another nymphomaniac. <laughs> All right, this needs to be the boy we just threw out. This was Michael Mitchell. This person will be Ahas uh, the Killer. <laughs> kind of amusing that the guy with the killer in their name gets to be the antiquarian, which can't kill anything. They're all... It's gonna be Brushy McKean. And Nabaju. It's gonna be High Camp Bell. Campbell. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. If y'all enjoyed it, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.